Uh, we are talking with Colleen Coleman from Fast Cash for Homes. She is the short sale expert. What is the difference between a recourse loan and a non-recourse loan? And um, what kind of loan do I have on my house? Is it a recourse loan and a non-recourse loan? It's crucial that you know you understand the difference because it makes a huge it's a huge deal. A recourse loan is a loan where the borrower is you are personally liable for that debt. In a non-recourse loan, you are not personally liable for the debt. Generally, if you take out the loans at the time you buy the house and it's for an owner-occupied property and it's for anything from a single-family residence to a duplex, triplex, or fourplex, as long as you live in it, that's considered a non-recourse loan. Again, owner-occupied, residential, and no more than one to four units. What, what does that mean, though, the non-recourse loan? Well, that's huge. It's critically important to understand the differences because the lender can come after your personal assets in the case of a recourse loan. When non-recourse loan, they cannot. So in other words, a HELOC right now is considered, if you even if it's taken out at the time you purchase the house, that's considered a recourse loan. Which and is a home equity line home, of credit. Right, home equity line of credit. And if you refinance the original loan you had and you take out either additional debt or just refinance without any additional income, that's considered a recourse loan. Okay, so just trying to give you an example. Let's say you have two loans on a property. You signed both of them. You signed a loan with the first lender when you bought the house, and you also signed a home equity line of credit with another lender when you bought the house at the same time. And let's say you get into trouble, you're underwater, you can't afford the mortgage payments, and the first lender forecloses. Okay, They go through the process, and the value of the house has dropped so much, so significantly, that when they sell it on the courthouse steps, the second loan, the HELOC, is wiped out. There's no proceeds available to pay the second lender any money. What happens is that the second lender, the HELOC, that is a recourse loan. So they got completely wiped out, let's say, whatever, pick a number, $55,000, $100,000. They can go after the borrower. They can garnish wages. They can go after you collection they can get a collection, they can sign the debt over to a collection agency, and they can go after you to pursue that money. That's the huge advantage of doing a short sale because when I negotiate with the first and the second lien holders, I absolutely mandate that there's verbiage in the short sale approval letter that says, this is release of the lien in full, which means that the second lender will not pursue you for any part of the debt that's not paid. So you get to go move on with a clean break and you know you get to start the rest of your life over financially so to speak that sounds very important it's huge uh, your HELOC could be very big I mean right. people, or your refinance or your exactly. refinance right your second loan and so that so we we need to know if we have a, a well on the property we'll have a non-recourse loan but if we have second loans there'll be recourse loans and this is where the short sale becomes a very uh, pretty picture for somebody that's forced to be moving out versus just walking from the property. You're still going to be responsible for that second note. Right. You have to look at the documents real carefully because there are a lot of people who bought homes where they, uh, do you remember that verbiage, an 80-20 loan where they used one lender to write an 80% of the purchase price, another lender came in and gave them a loan for 20% of the purchase price, that may still be a second mortgage and not a home equity line of credit. There's still a lot of gray areas out there. There's legislation trying to get the HELOCs declared non-recourse, but that hasn't passed successfully yet. So you really have to know what kind of a loan you have in second position, because that could really hurt you if you didn't know. Why don't we give them a way to contact you? Sure. My business phone number is 909-972-0041, or my email is doc, D-O-C, Realtor, R-E-A-L-T-O-R, 45, at gmail.com.